I have a video for you today on the look that I'm wearing right here and this is using the new Vice 4 palette. So I wanted to use this in a video and I'm going to do a bunch of looks using this, like using the purples, using the greens, but this look is totally, totally me. Um, I probably have like 30 videos that look like this because this is what I love. Um, but anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! So the first thing we're going to do is apply our MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So I'm going to apply that all over my lid up to the brow and then I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line as well. Next I'm going to take my NYX I Have a Headache eyeshadow, mine's just crushed up and put in this jar. I'm going to apply that as my brow bone highlight. Next I'm going to take Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and I'm going to use this in my crease. So I'm going to apply it directly in the crease and then pull it upwards as there's less on the brush. And I'm just using this because there's no really like lighter transition shade in the palette. Then we're going to go in with the shade of Bitter which is a beautiful, very warm orangey brown. And you can't really tell but my head is tilted back and I'm really going to apply this focusing it on the inner and outer corner of my lid and pulling it through the crease as well. You just want to make sure you blend the shade as you go along and I really did a lot of layers of this because I really wanted you to see that awesome like orangey warmth that this shadow has. I, this is like my favorite shadow in the palette. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Framed and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner of the eye. It doesn't make a huge difference but it just brightens it up just a little bit and I like the way it looked. Now we're going to go in with the shade Delete and I'm going to, on a little small shader brush, this is just a no name brush, I'm going to pack that on the inner and outer corners of my eye. And then I'm going to take that brush from before and I'm just going to blend over it, um, blending over those corners and slightly dragging it into the crease because you do want it to connect but I didn't want too much of this darkness in that crease. So again, I'm just packing on a little bit more of that delete shade and then going in and blending it out. Next, I'm taking the shade Crowbar and do yourself a favor and do your foundation last. Even though I was kind of protecting my face, this got everywhere. And also, if you're going to use the shade by itself, you might want to spray it um, with some Fix Plus or use some sort of a glitter glue to apply this into. So I'm just packing that on the center of my lid and taking that brush from before and just kind of blending it through the crease and blending away any transferage. Then I'm taking my Makeup Geek Utopia pigment and my e.l.f. Makeup Lock and Seal. I love this product. Um, and so I'm just going to apply that to the center of the lid where we applied that crowbar. Again, if you're just going to be using the palette, you can just spray your brush with some MAC Fix Plus, but I figured I had this and I really wanted to use it because it was a similar color, but much more intense. Then I'm taking MAC's Reflex Antique Gold and again, just patting that on the center of the lid. I really just love how it gave some sparkle because all these shades are kind of that same color as Crowbar. So just packing that in the center to really just make it nice and intense. And next I'm taking my MAC Smolder Eye Coal and I'm going to line my upper and lower water lines with this. Then I'm going to go back into the shade Bitter on a pencil brush and I'm going to run this along the entire lower lash line and I really pack this on. You can apply it tighter to the lower lash line if you wanted to, but I like my lower lash line to be really, really intense and blown out and smoky. So after I apply that, I'm just going to take that brush from before and I'm going to blend it out. Then I'm going to go back in with a little bit of Delete in that pencil brush and I'm just going to apply this to the outer kind of third of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go back with that blending brush and just buff it out one more time. Next, I'm going to take the Salon Perfect number 610 lashes. And I didn't even apply liner because the band on these are so thick. So I'm just going to pop those on. And then I did off camera cover up the glue band with some uh, liner. And now I'm taking my NYX The Skinny Mascara and blending my natural lashes with the false lashes. And I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes and that's it. Alright you guys, so that is all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!